Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Triangle Strategy with me, Jalanon, at Lunar Nebula Gaming. We are probably going to do this side story at Whitehome Castle first. Uh, just a reminder that this game is rated T for Team, and I'm currently playing on Steam, and there is like a 40% off sale on Steam until January 5th, I believe. This should be up before that, so hopefully, if you are enjoying this, you will be able to take part in that. At any rate, to Whitehome Castle we go. I'm gonna try to get used to using the keyboard and mouse on this, but uh, I might try Where controller. Where did my fool brother run off to? I explicitly told him I wanted him here when we welcome our guests. Well, Fry, he was running on a horse, so it's really the horse that ran away, not him, right? What an interesting name, Franny. We've seen Prince Roland shrugged off the king's guard and went on a little excursion, as he's wont to do. As is his want. I swear, it's as if the boy exists to drive us mad. <sighs> he is an embarrassment to our family. But he did no take down some bandits. I will see to matters myself. These guards are very faceless here. Huh. Your honored guests have arrived, Your Highness. I see new faces among them. I trust you can tell me more, Clarice. But of course, Your Highness. I'm impressed you can notice new faces at all. The imposing looking woman over there is General Avlora of Esfrost. Her prowess in battle is such that some say she is the second coming of Groma Ironfist, hero of the Salt Iron War. Interesting that they have the rumors red. of her strength are true. She is more likely to emerge victorious than any but the Dawn Spear himself. Hmm. Yeah, Ace Frost isn't blue. Weird. Over there is Minister Exham Marshall of the Holy State of Hyzant. He is the newest appointee to the Saintly Seven and has been placed in charge of the military and diplomatic affairs. Okay. He's a rise to prominence nigh unheard of for one so young. Yeah, you think at least of the Grand Duchy and Hyzant's young home. I imagine this will not be the last I hear of them. I guess they don't care about camouflage. I know Maybe this video. Source the end of Hyzant, yes. Just so, my lord. As you doubtless know, he is the Holy State's Minister of Salt. A prestigious position, though it is said he feels threatened by Minister Exham of late. Okay, I'm gonna turn off auto real fast. That is a very strange pixelated head shape. It's almost like he's got like a little tentacle there, but I think it's supposed to be the remains of some hair as he is balding. It's interesting. So even the great monolith that is the holy state is not immune to internal strife. Nope. Because humans. Thank you, Clarice. I can see they were not wrong to tap you to lead the consortium. As the officially appointed bookmaker for the tournament, it would not do for me to be ignorant of the combatants. Ah, uh -huh. as a tournament. Your Highness, Lord Thalys and Lady Erica, brother and sister of the Archduke, have arrived. They will be joining the festivities in Archduke Gustadal's stead. Word has it that Lord Thalys has been appointed Prime Minister, which would make him the second most influential individual in all of Esfrost. Hmm. Also Archduke Gustadolf is said to prize freedom more than anything. It would seem that includes the freedom to put his own family above all. Hmm. With all due respect, Your Highness, the decisions of another nation are their own. Do take care not to say anything that might offend our new allies. Interesting. So if we went the freedom path, we could probably team up with these two. They're not Ephraim and Erica, so... Less interesting pursuing that path. But we'll see. You need not remind me, Patriot. I know there is little to be gained from quarreling with Esfrost's ruling family. Hmm. Also, everybody's crossing over this drawbridge. I wonder if that's going to be important later. Okay, yellow is Glenbrook. Honored guests. 
I am Franny, Crown Prince of Glenbrook. It is an honor to welcome you to our kingdom in my father's stead. I can assure you we have spared no effort in preparing for tomorrow's festivities. Let us ring in this new age of alliance together. Though I imagine some may be too occupied awing us with their prowess in the tourney to enjoy the revelry themselves. Allow me to escort you to Whitehome Castle, where the ceremony will take place, whenever you're ready. I was thinking the bald guy had glasses, but it was blinking, so maybe his eyes are just strange. Prince Roland, finally you return. Oh, Prince Roland. At ease you went. I trust all was well in my absence. Well enough. Another visit to the Woolfort Domain, was it? Indeed, on minor business. My apologies for leaving unannounced. Apologies indeed. You know full well that I am under strict orders from your father to accompany you on any excursions outside the castle. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Besides, no one would lose any sleep if something happened to me. Father and Franny used to be. Even Cordelia would get along perfectly fine without her brother. Well, I would not. Or have you forgotten that you are my one and only sworn liege? You act. Apparently he did. Forgive me, truly. It won't happen again. I should hope not. I wonder if she's an assassin class. So it is true that you plan to fight an attorney on the morrow. And alongside House Wolfort, no less. How did you... His grace told me. When he commanded me to keep you out of trouble. Your father knew all along. And so I have decided to fight at your side. You won't be slipping away on my watch this time. As you wish. Okay. New friend. Hmm. So I wonder if our choices would ever prevent us from being able to keep Roland around, or if he will always follow you in the future. I mean, we don't know yet, but... What do we do next? Castle Wolfwood. So the side story was literally a cutscene. Okay. Anything else? We can zoom out a lot. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah, the mouse with this cursor is a little bit weird, but hey, it's working. It's working. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, Castle Wolfwood is right in the middle of all this. No wonder we're having issues with our neighbors. Welcome back, the both of you. Were there any troubles while we were out? None to speak of, aside from Eridor here. But what else is new? It was Benedict's relative. Out with it, Benedict! I heard you were beset by brigands. Is the young lord safe? Lower your voice. Must you always shout so? Or can't you see that it was that big mouth of yours that invited trouble in the first place? Ah. There is no cause for concern, Eridor. Besides, I'm not a child anymore. Mayhap not, my lord. But I've known you since you were knee-high to a... Uh, never you mind. <sighs> and this must be the young lord's bride-to-be. I am Frederica. It is a pleasure and honor to meet you all. And I am Gila, her attendant. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Allow me to introduce those in service of House Wolfort. This is Arador, Master at Arms and Commander of our military forces. He does have armor. You'll be the lady of House Wolfort. 
No harm will befall you as long as I'm around. And this is Anna, my right hand. If you require anything, just say the word. They may not be of my blood, but they are my family just the same. And from this day on, they are your family as well. I am aware that in all of Glenbrook, House Wolfwort is second only to the royal family in power and influence. I will do my best not to disappoint you. A joyous day this is! The little lord grew up and found himself the perfect bride. Nah, it brings a tear to my eye. His voice certainly does carry. Sorry, my lady, but you'll have to get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Cozy seat with cozy music. My lord, your father awaits you in his chambers. As for me, I must stay and discuss the preparations for tomorrow's festivities with Anna and Eridor. Lady Frederica, pray come with me. Father is expecting us. Okay, so now we have Anna and Eridor. Cool. I don't know what Anna is. Archer strikes enemies from the shadow. Okay, so yep, takes two actions the same turn and can conceal herself from enemy. Oh, that's interesting. How is that going to work? Okay, an Eridor draws enemy attacks, counterattacks when dealt a physical blow by an adjacent enemy. Okay, so he is our tank. And Anna's definitely an assassin of some sort. <laughs> oh, man. As you are well aware, there are two events of utmost importance to be conducted before Lord Serenella and his bride are wed. The ceremony to commemorate the joint mining venture. Still can't believe I'll be seeing the day when we break ground on a new mine right here in Glenbrook. And with the full support of Esfrost and Hyzant, no less. Hmm. You can thank King we'll Regnant for that. It was by his most wise and generous proposal that the three nations of Norzelia now strive toward a common goal. Needless to say, delegates from each nation will be joining in the festivities. Okay. From the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, Lord Dragan Esfrost, who is overseeing the technical side of the mining operations. The Holy State of Hyzant will be represented by Minister Lila Viscraft of the Saintly Seven. And our own Lord Simon will serve as Glenbrook's delegate and meet with the two before the ceremony. Yes? Quite so. After that, it will be House Wolfort's responsibility to see that our honored guests feel welcome. Anna, I would trust you safeguarding both Lord Dragan and Minister Lila. Hmm. Consider it done. Only one person for two. Then once that stuffy ceremony is over, we can get to the real highlight of the day. The tourney! Ah, my blood's already rushing. Just envisioning the greatest warriors from all the realm clashing swords. From Esfrost, the much-renowned general of Laura. And from Hyzant, Minister Exham Marshall. I have heard much of his prowess as well. Then, of course, there's our reigning victor. The pride of Glenbrook, Sir Maxwell the Dawnspear. Still, I wish him all the best of luck against their hosts. They'll need it to beat House Wolfort. On that matter, there are two things I should make clear. Prince Roland has expressed a desire to join the tourney as a member of House Wolfort's contingent. Why would the boy want to fight with us and not his own arms master? Apparently, he originally formally requested to do just that, but King Regna would not allow it. Hmm. And so he came to the young lord in hopes of finding another way in. Well, it's more than welcome in my book. The royal family said we're free to put together our own contingent after. I reckon his majesty would be beside himself with joy if we could deliver a beaten to Esfrost and Isaac. Doubtless so. Very well. 
I shall inform the prince that he is welcome in our ranks. Finally, there is the matter of Lord Simon's health? <laughs> Indeed. Sadly, the lord of the house is in no condition to participate in the tourney. Okay. Barring some miracle, I anticipate that Lord Saranoa will have to fight in his lord father's stead. Lord Simon. I suppose age takes its toll on even the mightiest of men. Yep. Makes me wonder. Is everybody else going to be so like, be like it then? Yeah. You can leave watching over the young lord and Prince Roland to me. Good. I remind you that while this is a joyous occasion, all of our attendees have their own reasons for coming. Let us not give them an opportunity to catch us unaware. All right, it's freedom, morality, and utility, or liberty, morality, and utility for the three paths. Okay. Hmm. Any other side stories? Any whatsoever? No? All right. Off we go. Back to the castle, apparently. Huh. Father, I bring to you my betrothed, the Lady Frederica. A pleasure to meet you, my lord. I am Frederica of House Esfrost. Ho ho, the pleasure is all mine. Were it not for the efforts of House Wolfort, the Salt Iron War would rage on still today. Hmm, interesting. I do not deserve the honor of joining your esteemed family, but I will endeavor to serve you all the same. <laughs> There is no need for such formalities, my girl. This voice actor sounds familiar. You are tired from your journey, I am sure. Pray rest easy tonight. Thank you, my lord. I believe that in any journey, the first step is the most important. Before we go forward together, I should like to know why you chose to welcome one of Roselle in blood, such as I. Oh, I'd heard you were a strong-willed one. Pray forgive my insolence. And yet, I am set to marry into a mighty house of a foreign nation. I should like to know what you wish of me, that I might live up to your expectations. That seems fair. A most reasonable request. Both of you, listen well. Yes, father. Your marriage was agreed upon by Glenbrook and S. Frost, that the ties between our two nations might be strengthened. To give us more leverage against Tizen, with their monopoly over salt. Precisely. With Glenbrook and S. Frost consolidating their power, Tizen was left with little choice but to join the Alliance. And yet, while Lady Frederica is indeed the Archduke's sister, at the same time she is the daughter of a Rosellan concubine. Okay, it's like half-sister or something. Hmm. And House Wolfort, for all our military prowess, is no more than a bannerman of the king. If the aim was to forge the strongest bond we could between our two nations, it would be far more appropriate for my sister, Lady Erica, to wed the Crown Prince of Glenbrook. Just so, yet neither nation chose that. And do you know why? We can hear that so sound effect. That if relations between our two countries were to take a turn for the worse... We could be cast away like pawns. Precisely. Uh, Such are the schemes of those who rule nations. I understand now. And yet, no matter how impure the intentions behind this arrangement may be, I will not bring dishonor to the Wolfort name. Good attitude. Well said, my son. If that is your decision, then... Uh -oh. 
heart attack? Father! Lord Simo! Ah, I am an old man, and my health is not what it once was. For this reason and more, I have made my decision. As of this day, I abdicate my position as Lord of House Wolford. You will serve in my stead from tomorrow forth, my son. But, Father, I am not ready to... My decision is not made lightly. You have already shown me, with your words and your deeds, that you are more than ready. Think always about what your subjects need from you. Weigh your choices carefully, then take action. Do so, and I have no doubt you will make a great lord. And trust in Benedict. He shall serve you as well as he did me. We already trust Benedict. For now. <laughs> Thank you, Father. I will spare no effort that one day I may be as beloved by our people as you. Lady Frederica, your fate is not a simple one. There are many who would try to use the both of you as pawns in their own schemes. It's a good setup. Even so, I hope that you will be there to support my son through it all, as his wife, but also as your own person. This is House Wolfort's entreaty, and the wish of a father. Of course, my lord. It was my intention from the moment I boarded the ship. Beg pardon, my lord, but Lord Jagan and Minister Lila have arrived. Very well. Presiding over tonight's banquet will be my final duty as Lord of the House. Tomorrow's ceremony will mark the beginning of yours, my son. And after that will be your wedding. Rest well tonight, both of you, for busy days lie ahead. <laughs> Also, I just wanted to point out, look at these antlers. That's got to be a very large creature compared to everybody else's size. And this guy clearly likes hunting and stuff because we've seen arrows in the background. <laughs> oh dear. A young ox is completed. I like the dad, though. Save the game. All right, let's go to slot two in case anything crazy happens with our data. Okay. And now, off we go. Soaring into the tournament, probably. Maybe. Thirty years after the salt iron raged across Norzelia, a vein of precious minerals was unearthed in the kingdom of Glenbrook. From east to west, Joy swept the land. United at last in common cause, the Kingdom of Glenbrook, the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, and the Holy State of Hyzans endeavored to wrest this bounty from the Earth, with each nation providing expertise and resources. Are there any outside nations? This uneasy alliance between once bitter hmm. enemies will herald a new era of tranquility in this long embattled realm. Or so we hope. One after another, dignitaries from each nation arrive in Glenbrook to solidify this accord and toast to its success. It's got to be high as the East Frost. On the road to peace. Hmm. Among those who would forge this road is Sarah Noah Wolford. Inheriting the title of Lord Wolfort from his father, Simon, he must decide what foundation he would lay for this new era. And maybe a giant mecha. Gurren Lagann style. If it's the same Simon. 
Welcome to Castle Wolford, Minister Lila. Allow me to express my gratitude to the Holy State. Were it not for your nation's generous efforts, this venture would never have come to fruition. You are too kind, Lord Simon. You too have served an invaluable role in this. Though I must admit, the news of the union between your son and Lady Frederica came as quite the surprise. None in Hyzant considered that a bannerman of Glenbrook would join with the ruling family of Esfrost. I hear that Lady Frederica is the Archduke's half-sister. I must ask, how did this arrangement come to be? Oh, your curiosity is only natural. This union was promised during the war, an arrangement made with the previous Archduke. That's a long-term commitment there. I am surprised one as well-informed as yourself did not already know. And this is your son? As I recall. Sarah Noah Wilford, at your service, Minister. And I am Frederica S. Frost. My son still has much to learn, but I believe this marriage will herald a bright future for us all. For today, I intend to step down and leave House Wolfort in Sarah Noah's capable hands. This is a heads up. I wouldn't say he has much to learn if you're trying to project strength, but at any rate, also note, when there's this blue arrow there, Otto is not active. And now, it is. You're abdicating your position? Surprising news comes in pairs, I see. Nonetheless, I am happy for you both. I imagine the lords and ladies at tonight's banquet will take great interest in the new Lord Wolfort, as will I. <laughs> great. Go easy on the boy, my lady. I hear that young Lord Dragan of Esfrost shall also be in attendance? Indeed. He has been appointed to oversee operations at the Grand Norzellian Mines. I understand his star in Esfrost has seen a meteoric rise. Good. I would like to hear more of this new explosive substance he means to use to blast the tunnels. As a fellow scholar of sorts, if in a different field, I am always curious to learn how great discoveries are made. Dinamite. He should have arrived by now. Has anyone seen him? Dragan's gone to see the city. He was halfway there before the gangplank landed on the docks. <laughs> ah, he is your cousin, yes. I see we share an innate curiosity for new places. The banquet will begin soon. I shall seek him out and escort him there. Very good. Though I will host tonight's festivities, I want you to act as if you're already Lord of the House. Our guests are the most esteemed personages of their respective nations. Take care not to cause offense. Of course, Father. Uh-oh. <laughs> Does that give us the choice whether to do that or not? Hmm. This will find out the hard way. Lord Jagan could be anywhere. I suppose this is as good an opportunity as any to speak with the common folk. Oh, interesting. Okay. The flow of the game comprises multiple phases. In addition to story scenes and battles, there will also be an exploration phase. Okay. I don't know if I like that yet or not. In this phase, you may move freely about areas to gather information from the people around you, obtain items, review mechanisms and terrain features that may serve you in battle, and more. Hmm. Okay. Press while holding backspace to perform a dash. Okay, probably the B button normally. Interesting. In the exploration phase, we can click enter. Hmm, so we don't have to continue to doing this. Okay. Right, since you may have some questions regarding this joint mining venture, allow me to enlighten you. Okay. Combining the expertise and manpower of Roselia's three nations, this mine will unearth a newly discovered vein of iron. Okay, it's iron. Salt, iron, or... I guess now we have iron for everyone, maybe? But yeah, if there's outside nations, you'd think they'd try to maybe... Unite a little bit? Maybe not. Oh well. We hope this will prove beneficial for all parties, providing wealth and prosperity in equal measure. It is said Lord Dragon's knowledge of ironworking is peerless. I can think of none more suited to oversee the mine's development. Okay. So if I 
clicked enter without somebody being nearby, that could be a problem. Hmm. I've been tasked with attending you at the ceremony tomorrow, my lord. May it be a joyous occasion for all. I'm eager to hear your speech, and even more eager to see you triumph at the tourney. Oh yeah. If the game wants us. We shall see. Okay, so I can enter here. I'm betting that if I click conclude exploration now, it won't immediately conclude, but I don't want to risk it. So, we'll wait. We'll wait. I heard tell Prince Roland to sharpen his duties at the castle once again. Thank heavens that shiftless child isn't in line for the crown. Well... You know what they say. It's like... First... Is kind of the one that's groomed to be the new lord and all that. Second one is like the backup, just in case. So things could happen. Things could happen. Oh, Frederica has an exclamation mark. To see the peace we enjoy now, one would never think that but thirty years ago our realm was engulfed in war. The salt iron war seems not but a far off nightmare now. It's been like a generation and a half ish, if you do like twenty years for a generation. So, things can happen, as World Wars 1 and 2 have shown. Greetings, my lord. Their friends and I are playing hide and seek. I wonder if we can find the friends. Marvels of Norzelia, Volume 8, to notes. You'll find notes as the game progresses. No direct effect on the story. Okay, but we can learn. So we have to go to War Chronicle and notes. So Volume 8 and Volume 12. Aha! So also check bookcases and stuff that isn't shiny. I am clicking enter. Hmm. So that does not conclude our exploration. That's good to know. So that isn't the enter button. What are you? What are you? Oh, well. Oh, it's probably spacebar. Yeah. By your request, Benedict and I shall uh, take part in the turn. May we bring victory to House Wolford. May we indeed. Uh, let's go over here. For some reason, it was kind of hard to go down that step. Okay, I can't do anything. Uh, what about this food? Nope. Can't take food with me. Oh, hey. How's it going, cat? I don't think we can pet the cat. We just get a meow. There. That's a deer head. Okay. So those antlers at Simone's office, they were still like two or three times the size of these, so... That's either a really weird deer or some sort of monster's antlers. HP recovery pellet. So I think we've uh, gotten back everything we spent with Roland. Not that we could keep any of that. It's been a little bit, my lord. Another quiet day. What? That's what we want. We're playing hide and seek till Da comes home. I need to find a place to hide and quick. Hmm. Take care not to hurt yourself. Your father wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Ah, one of my favorite games. Barrels were always my favorite places to hide. Takes a clever mind to hide. Perhaps you can use that cleverness to help your father when you're older. Hmm. I mean, this is important. This is true. <laughs> but also potentially bad if the barrel gets closed on top of you. Um, let's just say, take care not to hurt yourself. My convictions have been strengthened. I will. I got awful mad when I climbed up on the rooftops. Awful mad. <laughs> yep. I believe it. That anger comes from a place of concern. I'm not saying you shouldn't hide, but I promise you'll keep your safety in mind. Aye, uh, a promise with the Lord is as good as gold. God will be glad to hear. There. Yep, yep, yep. Because let's just say... You can... You can come up with reasons why being really good at hiding could be useful. Like, uh, there is a biography on a guy named Louis Zamperini. When he was a kid, he was... Kind of a... Uh, shall we say... A child prone to crime. <laughs> and that actually helped keep people alive when he got put in the POW camps in World War II. Uh, because he figured out ways to, like, smuggle sugar and salt and stuff in his socks. To help keep prisoners alive and stuff. But, uh, yeah. So, <sighs> sometimes doing things that are uh, non-traditional can be helpful. But usually staying alive is way more. Let's have you not break a leg. This town is prosperous, and its people have faith in their lord, and impresses their achievement by my experience. You are too kind, Lord Dragon. Ah, my apologies, but you are... The apology should be mine. I'm Serenoa Wolfort. 
I've come to remind you to return to the castle before the banquet begins. Certain parties were quite insistent. Of course, I appreciate the consideration. I would like to explore the town a while longer. But rest assured, I shall be punctual in my arrival. Okay. Ah, I must make ready for the wedding ceremony. What gift would best suit the union of you and Lady Frederica? Hmm. It's an impossible choice. Perhaps an audience with Lord Simon will spark inspiration. Okay. I don't know if he'd have time with the party and everything he's trying to host. Hmm. Hey. It's an opportunity, I guess. A lot of folk have come to town for the ceremony. I even saw a man earlier wandering about in wide-eyed one day. It's probably just gone. <laughs> in case you didn't talk to him already. Okay, hello, friends. I can scarce remember the last time Winbrook was host to such a marvelous tourney. Who among the nations will win the glory? Which will be known as the fiercest in all Norzilia? I mean to be there when history is made. Fair enough. Hmm. Okay, then. Herador. I still can't believe Travis and his feral spawn attacked your dear bride to be like that. I'm just glad we got there before any real harm could be done, my lord. That's right, Herador. Sometimes you gotta learn to not talk. My most esteemed personages from each nation will be attending the ceremony, I hear. A veritable melting pot of politics. Such an opportunity to meet and speak with your peers must not be wasted, my lord. Thank you, Salt Margaret. You are correct. Hmm. HP recovery. I wonder if our inventory is per person. Can I... I can't seem to actually get there with... Enter, so let's try escape. Ah, here we go. Roster. Okay, so we've got Eridor, Shield Bearer, and as a spy, that makes sense. Physician Gila, Pyromancer Tactician, and Swordsman. Okay, um, so let's see. You have no accessories, your weapon skill is locked. Interesting, interesting. Can I. Hmm. We do have multiple abilities, it looks like. Escape to equip accessories, we have none still. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't look like you and oh times deployed movement. Oh, that's kind of useful to see. Okay, and our shield bearer doesn't have as much movement. I mean, heavy armor makes sense, but it's only one less, so he should have a decent time keeping up, hopefully. Hmm. Okay, and they all have three TP. They're all recruit level apparently. Weapon rank? Oh, that ranks up too. HP strength. Uh, so Sarah, Noah, and Eridor deal the most damage, other than, of course, you and magic. Physical defense, this makes sense. Benedict has more defense than Sarah Noah. That's interesting to me. Okay, and Gila has the most magic attack. Well, okay. Then. Magic defense. Sensible, sensible. Yeah, so Benedict is like our best mixed tank. That's interesting. Luck. It's best with Sarah Noah. Probably keep him from getting crit unnecessarily. Hopefully. Invasion. Yeah, Anna, that makes sense. Really, Eridor is better at evading. I mean, he does have a big shield, that makes sense. But, still interesting. Jump. Okay, so that's probably going to be how far you can scale up clips and things. Interesting. Okay, so, that's that. We can go to an encampment. Let's check our inventory. So we have seven HP recovery pellets. Okay. 50 power versus 100, so this does twice as much. Iron. Material required to learn rank one weapon abilities. Can I use that yet? I don't think I can. Okay, War Chronicle. We can go to those notes. Okay. If I do this. Uh, okay. So clicking enter up here goes through. Or uh, A and D, left and right. Up the Norzelia River and past a handful of craggy mountains lies the Ace Frosty Capital. Despite the blizzards oft swirling about it, the city itself is orderly and well maintained, and the people who dwell there are spirited and undaunted. By working together, they have managed to thrive in one of the most inhospitable places in the realm. It is this fortitude that has allowed Ace Frost to grow into a nation to be reckoned with. Ace Frost's iron stone was carved out of a rocky mountainside, which is unusual, but fitting for a land with countless iron mines within its borders. It functions as both a castle and an iron factory. Oh, that's interesting. Also, they have giant bear statues. Right? Okay. Hmm. Skilled artisans in the Grand Duchy are brought to the castle, where they mass-produce ironworks and engage in technological research. 
Thanks to an enormous forge as large and as hot as the mouth of the volcano within the castle, they are able to create huge quantities of ironware and weapons on a daily basis for Ace Frost's pride and joy, the Black Irons. Upon the castle's ramparts is arguably the crowning achievement of Ace Frosty ironworking, a gigantic bell, larger than the largest dragon. I cannot even begin to fathom how they managed to create such a beast. Each day, the bell tolls the time for the people of the capital. It is so loud, it could be heard all throughout the mountains, and has even been known to trigger avalanches on distant slopes. Seems like they might want to rethink that a little bit. Okay. And volume 12. There is no site in the realm as impressive as the Byzantium capital. After braving the vast desert, the first thing a visitor to this great city sees is a wall so huge it does not look like it could have been made by human hands. The goddess's shield. Pass through the gate, and you will emerge into a thriving metropolis of believers. Just beyond the streets lies the huge calm waters of the source. Unbelievable as it may seem, the city and the wall encircle the entirety of the great lake where all of Norzelia's salt originates. In the center of the lake towers a mountain-like statue of the goddess, an enduring symbol of the holy state's faith. Indeed, after beholding how Hyzant could not only survive in the middle of an, uh, an inhospitable desert, but thrive, even an unbeliever such as myself started to think that the statue might actually be the goddess incarnate. In the palace in the city center lives the Hierophant, who they say hears the voice of the goddess of salt herself. I imagine such a voice would be just as majestic and calm as the city she watches over. A calm city? That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. And then we have tutorials if we need them. Yeah. We don't need no tutorials right now. What we need is talking to Frederick. Hello. It's just like in the Galavan off with nary a word of farewell. Still, I suppose this is a chance to become acquainted with my future home. How would you describe your town, Cyrano? Hmm. To know a town, you must take time to relish the company. That's what Eridor told me, and perhaps more colorful words. It is the port at the center of commerce, a town built on taxes, but not to dispense a fair trade. Wolford is nestled safely behind the castle walls. It is a town at peace, and sets an example for the rest of the kingdom. Okay, so... What? What if I did F1? What does that do? Oh, okay, that... That hides that. That's kind of useful. Okay. So to know a town, you must take time to relish... <laughs> Come on. Okay, port at the center of commerce. So this is probably pragmatism again. This is probably liberty. This is probably morality. Huh. Town at peace is pretty important. I do feel like you have to spend time in a town to know more about it. Uh, man, I'm just kind of all over the place on these, huh? Hmm. Oh well. We'll just go with. We like a safe town. I, I kind of lean towards morality and pragmatism or utility in general. And the people are thankful to their lord for that, I am sure. There are always threats to the peace, however, as your encounter with the bandits proved. Of course, simply ensuring the smallest amount of safety must be a daunting task in itself. You have given me much to consider. Okay, Jila, anything to say? There is no rest for a young lordling. All eyes will be upon you in the coming days. Federica and I shall make every effort to learn the lay of the land so that we might share the weight of your duties. Okay. Well, dear viewer, next time we will go to a party. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed Triangle Strategy. And next time, we'll go to a party. Take care, dear viewer.